thing you'll notice is that there's a fresh new user interface and that all of the icons have been redesigned specifically for 4K monitors. Some common commands have now been moved to the new panel UI. So if we look at the extrude command, you'll see that it's now available on a dockable panel. And in addition to the extrude command, the revolve and sweep commands have also been included in this panel. Another nice enhancement is the ability to use swept solids. So in this example, I have two solid bodies and I'm sweeping the yellow solid there around the blue solid that we see over here. My options are obviously to create a join, a cut or an intersection. If we do a cut, you'll see that that solid is now removed in a spiral on this component. The frame generators also had a bit of love in this new release. If we have a look at the design tab, you'll see that we now have the ability to insert end caps. So I can click on a face and there's the ability to offset and create feet, for instance. Or as an alternative, we can create insets as well. So we'll insert a cap and in this instance, we'll choose the internal position. And you'll notice now that I have a few different options. I can choose a filleted corner, a sharp corner, or a chamfered corner. So if we chamfer the corner over here, and we can choose the thickness of our plates, and we can choose the size of our chamfer. So if we wanted a 25 millimeter chamfer in there, and we could inset this by five millimeters, we'll say okay. And that's generated automatically for us as well. One of my favorite new features is the ability to change our crosshatch pattern. Traditionally, Inventor had a concrete type finish when we did sections, and we can now put pretty much any image we'd like in there. A new feature in Inventor 2020 is the unwrap feature. This allows us to flatten shapes that we wouldn't be able to flatten using sheet metal. So in this example, I click on the unwrap tool, and I click on, the, on my shape that I want to, I'd like to flatten, and you'll see that I'm shown the shape of what the flat pattern would look like and it also shows me heat maps so that I understand where the material is most stressed. Once I'm happy with that it'll generate a surface of that flat shape which I can then export out to DXF or other formats. 